Lord, grant us the patience to work together and unite us as a family. Let us work with understanding, love, and compassion in our hearts as we light the way to your heavenly kingdom. Amen. Mother Mary began speaking. Solidarity, this is where your strength lies. You are all on the same page, and it is best to make it voluntary so that hearts are totally united and on the same page. This is where most communities and groups go wrong. They do not have solidarity. Because you have chosen the less glorious ways of proceeding, only the authentic ones are interested. They want to be here for the right reasons. As you continue to hold together, you will be stronger. What you have done right is to encourage each soul in their gifts and give them what they need to accomplish it. If you can conquer your own carnal natures, you have built a wall of solidarity around yourself. When a soul is not going to work out, it will become blaringly obvious. This is when you need to take action before they bring other souls down. Growing a community is like growing a beautiful and richly healthy garden. You do much to take the stones from the earth, amend the soil with nutrients, and remove sprouting weeds. Aerate and keep the soil light and well watered. You will have a rich, productive garden. This is what this place is becoming. It is essential that each person have real trysting time with Jesus. There must be a connection and knowledge of my son, or they will not understand the dynamics of community life and the attributes necessary to succeed. Everything, and I do mean everything, depends upon an ever-deepening intimacy with him. My dear ones, when you have conquered your personal sins, and when I say conquered, I don't mean completely eradicated. I mean when you recognize your sins and are actively keeping a watch over yourself and mending your ways, you are ready to live in a community. It's not about making smooth transitions. It is about yielding increasingly to one another in brotherly love. It is for this reason that those who oppose you aim at the individuals and even at the weakest. By gaining entry into the weakest, they can be used to cause division, and division is the beginning of real trouble. But with mature members who know better and have seen the enemy at work, they spot these weaknesses and work with the individual, even interceding for them. No rancor, no criticism, no condemnation, only prayer and kindness until the soul comes around. This is a successful way of building up the community.